Group E action, a rematch from September the 3rd. Red Bull Salzburg taking on Ilves Tampere in Nokia Arena in Finland and Tampere. Well, we'll take you to the first period and a power play. Beautiful setup here by Peter Schneider to Thomas Roffel. And right between the legs, the goaltender, Merrick Langhammer. No chance for the netminder on the man advantage and a beautiful deflection. Later on in the period, play would continue and a shot would come from the near side. And off the post, it would go. It was Ben Misner with that one, rang it off the iron. The goaltender, Langhammer, found it, got the whistle, and play would continue. Lucky for him, it didn't bounce in. Power play for Ilvis later on. And a nice dish, it was Henrik Hoppera to Pateri Kontra for the shot right here. And it was blocked in front, glorious chance and bodies get in the way before that go in. Second period action, we continue on. It is an opportunity here, nearly a shorthanded breakaway, but the mishandle by Tolvin and almost allowed for a goal for Lancaster was coming out of the box, but he hit the iron instead and the puck stayed out. We continue on and it would go through a power play where a shot was taken on the right wing side, empty net, but no, it goes wide on the shot that came from Mantikivi. Boy, that was close. Later on, from the point, the defenseman Lancaster calling for it. Eventually worked from the right wing side to the point. He'd get it and flex the stick, and the puck would just graze off the goalie and stay out. And that would keep it a 1-0 deficit until Ilvis would get in the game early on, and the shot would come. There it is in the back of the net. That one in by Yona Ikwinen. He'd find a way to get that CNI puck past the goaltender, Colvinen. That tied the game at 1-1 in the early stages of the third period. Later on, the play would continue. Emily Swomey would drive the goal right here, forcing Tolvanen to make a good save. Bodies will dive in the puck and keep everybody away. And Yona Ikenun wasn't done yet. Eventually get a shot on goal as a result of a turnover in transition. Glorious chance in that one. Just missed the mark there as Yanni Neumann had a good opportunity. So we go to overtime, four on three late. They pulled their goalie for an extra attacker. Yerki Yokipaka put that one into the goaltenders, just keeping it out. So we go to a shootout and then Yanni Neumann, beautiful save. Tolvanen flashes the left hand before the puck could sail in on the backhand side and that stays out and then it was all Troy Bork what a move and in the back of the net that would win the game a 2-1 victory for Salzburg they would take the game as a result of a nine round shootout